Hello and welcome to Microwave Me, the show where I microwave the things you're not supposed to. Today I'm going to be microwaving Nutella. I've heard a lot of horror stories on Twitter about them trying to heat up Nutella. People have told me on YouTube that it's blown up their microwave and I thought... Hey, that sounds pretty cool, so I'm going to give it a try. And for this episode, we have a new microwave. Her name is Jessie, after the incredibly annoying but incredibly cute Jessie Spano from Saved by the Bell. In case you're wondering what happened to Lee, uh, she doesn't work anymore. When she shut down from doing the mouse, apparently, even though nothing seemed to happen, it was for good. Most people that do this only do it for a few seconds, but I want something cool to happen, so I'm going to put it in for about four minutes.
Well, that was about as exciting as watching the paint dry. All right. Time to remove the post product. Uh, it looked like it was about to maybe blow or something, but nobody would heat up their Nutella that long. I mean, that's just absurd. I mean, I did it trying to get it to blow, and it didn't want to blow. I mean, maybe it would have just fizzled and hissed out the top. Because it's a fairly heavy ingredient. And it loosened the lid. And you look at that. Warm Nutella. So I'm going to have to say, despite all the scare myths out there, Nutella is pretty safe to microwave, especially if you only do it for a few seconds. Worst that might happen is this lid thing might spark a little, but even then, uh, that wouldn't exactly blow up a microwave. I mean, anybody that knows a little bit about microwaves knows that you're not going to blow up your microwave with a little bit of metal. Although there have been Twitter posts thinking that leaving aluminum foil in the microwave will blow up their house. No, microwaving foil will not blow up your house unless it's in a sealed plastic bottle with the works toilet bowl cleaner. So my verdict is, Nutella is pretty safe to microwave. And now as a bonus feature, I'm going to microwave just the metallic thing by itself that everyone's so afraid of for about a minute. Wow, that was surprisingly cool, but as you can see, it did not blow up the microwave. The microwave's perfectly fine. It left a little bit of burn marks on the plate, but I figured I'd give you that little bit of bonus because the regular experiment itself sucked, but as for doing the foil thing, I'm going to declare this little bonus feature unsafe.